morning. Maybe it's afternoon where you're watching this. Good afternoon. We are on another fishing adventure. Going after some rainbow trout. We're gonna fish another pit lake today. We're gonna try trolling it. Uh, maybe doing some casting, but we'll show you what. You, uh, we'll tell you exactly what we're doing to catch a fish if we catch fish. And if we're lucky, we're gonna smoke them. So hopefully we do well enough to get a few to smoke. Right, James? You love them on the smoker. That's your favorite. Uh, stick around. Let's smoke some chuck. Got the plug. Uh, we made it to the lake. It's a little windy out. Fortunately, I had to work when it was nice out, but we're gonna give it give it a whirl. See if we catch anything. Yeah, and we sort of bumped some face masks. He wants a face mask. Uh, my face mask seems to be missing right now, so I might be a little cold too. Maybe I should have brought a face mask. Let's go give it a whirl, see if we can get some trout. Still on there? Your rat tip up, up to the side. Pull, pull, pull. What's going on, James? Gosh. Having a hard time with your gloves? Keep your rat tip up. In. Back up, get him in. Here we go. This first one. All right, we're hooked up. Look your rod out, James. Deciding to use a planer board to get it away from the boat. Now we gotta get the planer board out. jumping out there. I'm tired by the time I get him in. Yes, the rainbow. Beautiful fish. Up again on the planer board. All we're doing is trolling the middle of the lake. Oh, I think you got a He's on there, he's small. Hey, can you cast it with the... I think he got a uh, stick too long. Can you um, oh, cast it? Oh, there he is, he's still on there. He's still on there. Got the trolling motor off here. Still on there, but oh, still on there. There he is. One. Number three. Keeper! Just barely got him hooked. Okay, we got one, two, three. We got three. We three. Got so we're finding out that all they want is this jointed orange rapala. We've been trying everything else on the other pole. So far, all three have come on the jointed orange. So we're going to swap out lures. We just keep changing them out, trying to find what works. Poor James isn't getting anything yet. So <laughs> he's flipping over back. What's happening here, James? Reel it up, bud. I have a fish on mine. I had a fish on mine. How do you get the western There it is, another one. Help James out here. There he is, he has one. Get it in here. That a boy, James. Oh, hold it. Nice. Careful, stay away from those hooks. Nice job, buddy. Look how beautiful those eyes are. Oh, careful. So we've had to resort to trolling with the big motor because I didn't charge the batteries. Oops, my bad. So we have Captain James driving us to the trout. 
Where are they, bud? Where's a good spot? Kind of just been zigzagging back and forth over the middle. It's over 100 feet deep. Catch a trout from anywhere from 20 feet to 120 feet. But our lures are probably only getting down. I got distracted. I thought he had a bite. Lures are probably only getting down 10, 15 feet at the most. So they'll just come up for them, especially in these clear, clear pit lakes. You can see it from a long ways away and they'll just come up and grab them. Beautiful on this side of the lake. It's so nice to be out of the wind. Seems like the fish are relating to the wind. It's deep water. So a lot of spots we're fishing are over 100 feet deep. Catching the fish right up on the surface. Nice spread. Just got our two lines out. That's all you're allowed in Minnesota. Just the two lines. Just covering water. Waiting for a nibble. What's the best part of fishing, James? Eating. Staying warm? Yeah. We've put together a pattern. We've gone with the planer boards and the outboard motor. So we're trolling a little bit faster. We're almost up to three miles an hour most of the time, two and a half to three miles an hour. We're just using the planer boards to get the lures away from the boat because I'm sure we're just spooking the trout as we go over them so we're just trying to spread out our lines water. fish are just roaming high in the water column they just come up and grab them we're using a bright orange jointed rapala on one and the other one has a salmo lure on the other one but, uh, just keep covering water all right there they are there's our trout them and how to smoke them are you excited for smoking some trout yeah all right I'm gonna show you how I clean the trout when we're gonna smoke them I do them a little bit different as far as how I clean them if we're not smoking them but when I'm smoking them this is how we're gonna clean them um, and then I will show you the recipe we use to uh, brine them in and then uh, the smoking process how long we cook them and all that so we're gonna start with the cleaning Backbone. All the way down, coming down at the tail. So we're going to try to get these rib bones out of there. So we'll go ahead and repeat that process on all the rest of the trout and then we'll show you how to smoke it. We've got our trout all filleted up now. We're going to go get them washed off. All right, the kids have a favorite recipe they like for the smoked rainbow trout. So it's a dry bar brine that we use. It's two cups brown sugar and half a cup salt. We're going to mix it together. 
you can see the fish is dry right now. We're going to put this on the fish. We're going to let it soak in the refrigerator overnight. And when you see it tomorrow, they're going to be wet. I did not add any water to them. It's just going to be the moisture being pulled out of the fish. Um, and then I'm going to layer it. You only see one layer of fish right now. I'm going to put this salt and sugar right on top of the fish. And then I'm going to put another layer of fish on it and then another layer of salt and sugar. All right, so we're going to put another few, couple more layers of fish on them until all the fish are in there. We're going to let it soak in the refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow, we'll light up the smoker. So here's the fish that we had the brown sugar and salt on yesterday. I did not add any water to it. So this is the moisture that's been pulled out of the fish. We're going to dry them off and we're going to put them in the smoker. These are my wood chips. Soaked them in water which will make it smoke a lot more versus just dried out wood chips are just going to burn. So that will make it smoke. set up to start smoking them. We're going to smoke it at 165 for about four hours. They're done! You're excited? That guy's excited? I'm pretty excited too. They look so good. There they are. All finished up. You ready to eat, Joel? Can I have one, Daddy? Yep. Hot. <laughs> you already have it in there. How is it? Eat it. What do you think? Is it good? Eat it. So good. As you can see, the kids absolutely love the smoked trout. Please subscribe. Get outdoors. Be awesome, everybody.